Good day everyone, welcome to our video How to MindSphere. In this tutorial, we are going to show you step by step how to connect, configure and push an app to the Siemens MindSphere V3. We will divide our tutorial in four videos, each of them talking about a main topic. How to visualize a variable on Fleet Manager, how to push an app to the MindSphere, how to communicate your app with the MindSphere and finally we are going to show you our own app, the OutFab app. Alright, let's start with the first part then. How to visualize a variable on Fleet Manager. Here is a list of all the steps that we are going to follow in order to visualize the variable on Fleet Manager. How to create a MindConnect Nano asset. First we go on and log into our MindSphere Launchpad. Then we click on Asset Manager. Click on Assets. Click on New. And then we select from this list the one that we physically have. We're gonna go with the Mind Connect Nano because it's the one that we physically have, but you can go on and select any other that you have and the further steps will be the same. We go ahead and give it a name, we can add a description, an address is optional, and then we click on save. And that's it, we have created our asset. Alright, next step, configure Mind Connect Nano and download the configuration to the device. Within our asset, we click on this box and then we need to go and find this code that's written on the top of our Nano Connect, physically on top of it. We copy it, we write it here and we click on save. We click on our asset again. Now we click on the configuration symbol on this one. As you can see, the code we previously found is already fixed on the top left corner. Now we only have to configure these two different IP addresses. Why two? Well, one, the one on the top is for our internet connection, so that we can connect to the MindSphere and to the cloud. And the one on the bottom is for our local network, so that we can connect to the plant, PLC, OPC UA servers, and so on and so forth. Okay, click on save. We click on the configuration symbol again, and now we click on download the connection key. Okay, now we downloaded a configuration file. This basically contains all the configuration that we previously did. Now we need to take the file and put it on a USB stick, connect the USB stick physically to our mind connect nano that should be previously connected to the internet. The device will detect the USB stick, will read the file and configure itself. While this is going on, two LEDs of the device will be blinking. When they stop, the configuration will be done and this little point will turn green and that would mean that we did right. Okay, next step, set up a data source for the MindConnect Nano and add variables. We click on our asset again, the box. In order for us to add variables, we need first to set up our connection to our data sources. So we click on add new data source. We get to choose between S7 and OPC UA. S7 is in case our sources are going to be PLCs through absolute addresses or OPC UA is in case our data source is an OPC UA server. For example, we have here our own configuration for an OPC UA data source. We have the OPC name, OPC UA server name, OPC UA server address with endpoint and port, and the IP address. Now, in order for us to add variables, we need to click on our data source. Now click on add new data point. We need to give the new variable a name, an unit and a type, and an address. Here's an example of one that we have. In this case it's a voltage, we give it a name, the unit, the type, and the address. The address you can find it on your OPC server. It's important once we set up all our variables to click on Apply Changes. Ok, next step, create a virtual asset. Why do we need to create a virtual asset? There's a big difference on this part between the MindSphere V2 and the V3. In the V2 we would have already be finished by now, because in the V2 we could have already visualized the variables on our Fleet Manager by clicking on our Mind Connect Nano asset. Well, with the V3 
If you click on your Mind Connect Nano, you will only see if your variable is online or not, but not the real-time value. If we want to see the real-time value on the Fleet Manager, we need first to create a virtual asset, declare all the variables there, link them to our Mind Connect Nano asset, and then we can visualize the variables on the Fleet Manager. To create a virtual asset, we need first to create an aspect and to create a type. What's an aspect and what's a type? An aspect is an organizational tool where you can group variables and a type is a class where you can group one or more aspects. To create an aspect we go to our asset manager, click on aspects, click on new. Here we need to give an ID. The first part of our ID is our tenant prefix which we can find on the link on top. The second part is a name of our choice. We give it a name then we give it a name again, then we add all the variables that we previously add to our Mind Connect Nano. It's very important that the variables have the same data type and unit as they did on the Mind Connect Nano. The name is optional but it's recommended to use the same to avoid confusion. To create a type, we click on Types, we click on Basic Device, we click on New, We select a type, in this case, core basic device. We give it an ID, the same thing, it's the first part is uh, our tenant prefix and then the name. We select a name. And we select an aspect. The aspect is the one that we previously defined. You can select there one or more aspects. And we click on save. Now we are ready to create our virtual asset. So we go to assets click on new and we can see that the type that we previously defined is already there. We click there, we give it a name, a description, an address and we save it. Once we saved it, we can see on it, on the details, that all the variables that we previously defined on our aspect are already there. And we finally arrive to our last step link the Mind Connect Nano variables with the virtual asset variables. So that's basically what we need to do. We need to link all the variables from our physical asset with the ones from our virtual asset. We go to assets again. We click on our physical asset, in this case the Mind Connect Nano. Click on properties. Now we click on show connections. We look for the variable we want to link click on link variable and now we look for our virtual asset. We select it and this is going to take us to a list of all the variables that we declare in our aspect. As we can see we can only select the variables that have the right unit and type. We save it and for the purpose of this video we have linked three variables. That was our last step so now we can go to fleet manager click on our virtual asset, select our aspect, select the units of the variables we want to see, and finally we can see the variables values on real time. That was the first part of our tutorial, how to MindSphere. How to visualize a variable on Fleet Manager. We hope that this video was of any help for you and thank you very much for watching.